This Gorna Idritsa landscape park lies in the colorful upper reaches of the Idritsa River Basin. The park extends all the way to the edges of the town of Idria. Let's step into this amazing world of unspoiled nature and explore its many attractions. At the very beginning of the park is a botanical garden named after a famous botanist and physician, Giovanni Antonio Scopoli, where we can admire in a single spot the exceptional diversity of flora that is typically found in the large part of the landscape park. For centuries, many of the mine's devices were driven by water power. In 1604, the first water channel designed for this purpose, known as Rake, was constructed. Water flowed through this channel from the dam at Kobila all the way to the center of the town. Today, the Rake channel is a popular walking trail. Not far from Podrotea lies the mysterious Divye Jezero, or Wild Lake. This is one of the most recognizable natural sites in the Zgornia Idrica landscape park. The lake is situated below the steep cliffs of the Chernivrh Plateau, near the entrance to the Strug Gorge. The depths of the Wild Lake have not yet been entirely investigated. Its steeply descending, submerged underground cavern was explored by divers up to a depth of 164 meters, which is currently the limit of human ability. This is a habitat for numerous cave animals, including the most famous one, the human fish. During rainfall or high waters, the lake becomes truly wild, spewing out 60, 70 and more cubic meters of water in a mere second. The banks of the Idrisa River are connected by several wooden bridges. The trail leads us along the steep walls of the natural climbing ground Struk. Already in the far off year of 1838, this area was visited by King Friedrich August II of Saxony under the guidance of a native of Idria, curator Henrik Freyer. In memory of this occasion, the path leading from Kobila to Bela is today still named the Royal Botanical Path. At the confluence of the Idritsa and Belza rivers is Leicht, a popular bathing ground for local inhabitants and numerous visitors. We are now in the very heart of the Zgorna Idrica landscape park with its countless natural beauties and sights. Here we can admire the amazing diversity of flora and fauna. Extending above the beds of the Belca and Idrica rivers are predominantly mixed fir and beech forests. In the past, wood was a very important raw material for the mine's operation. A forest railway was built for the purpose of transporting wood to the watercourses. The preserved Idria Lauf was the first railway to be built in the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. In the second half of the 18th century, mighty water barriers, known as Klausje, were constructed to float timber from the forests to the town. Reputed for their technical, technological and aesthetic perfection, the Klausje are often called the Slovene Pyramids. The area of the Upper Idrica Landscape Park has a very interesting and diversified geological structure. One of the most picturesque sites in the park is the area of the so-called Tratnik landslides. Here you will find a true treasure chest of various rocks, such as multicolored claystones and sandstones. 
Particularly attractive are the jasper conglomerates. A heart-shaped shell found here was named after the town of Idria. The Ladinian beds are incredibly colorful due to the rapidly alternating beds of green and brownish red marlstones with reddish clay stones. In the direct vicinity is one of the most mysterious parts of the Zgornia Idria landscape park. The Kramarsca Gorge, with its steep rock walls, numerous swirling pools and waterfalls, is almost impassable. For centuries, the Idritsa River has been carving its way through the gorge. Allow ourselves to be lured by its enchanting power, to accept the river's mysterious invitation and be drawn into the embrace of the fascinating water world of the Zgorna Idritsa Landscape Park.